After an absolutely devastating brain tumor diagnosis a year ago, a Plano woman gained inspiration to not only fight the cancer and win, but to pursue her dream of starting her own business. Now, just a year after launching, she's been picked up in one of the premier grocery chains in the country. NBC 5's Lindsay Wilcox has the story. This commercial kitchen is a far cry from the corporate office where ML Dubay spent most of her career. But after a brain tumor diagnosis in 2000, she was left to evaluate her life and what she would do with the remainder of it. I really did enjoy the almost 20 years that I spent in corporate, but there was just something gnawing inside of me that kept saying, it's time for you to go do something different. A little over a year ago, she left a comfortable job to volunteer with the Legacy Brain Foundation. She also started a company called Toffee Treats at the encouragement of people who had tasted a recipe handed down from her grandmother. I used to make it for all of my friends in the corporate world during the holidays. And they would encourage me and say, gosh, you ought to start selling this stuff. She says the cooking temperature and the toffee thickness make her treats stand out from the rest. When I offer people, you know, would you like to try my toffee if I'm doing a demo? They're, no, 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 I don't care for toffee. It sticks in my teeth. Several of my friends said, this doesn't stick in my teeth. The treats proved so popular around town, a gourmet ice cream maker developed a flavor using little crumbles of it. They said, this is the best toffee I've ever tasted. No kidding. Usually pretty hot too, but that's all Now right. foodies everywhere can taste it at Central Market, where ML was just signed on as a vendor. An exciting development, she says, is also a little oh, scary. A but I've got so many wonderful people supporting me, be it encouraging me or just saying you can do it. And that means the world to me. It's been so, so helpful. In Plano, Lindsay Wilcox, NBC5. Good for her. A portion of every bag of toffee sold goes to the Legacy Brain Foundation, which provides financial assistance to people with brain tumors. We have more information on our website, NBCDFW.com. Just search toffee. With every reason to give up, see one woman's story of survival and sweet success in business. A malignant brain tumor isn't just one of the scariest diagnoses a person can face, but also one of the most expensive. Many treatments are still considered experimental, and they're not covered by insurance. A North Texas doctor is raising money to help meet the financial needs of her patients. New tonight, NBC5's Lindsay Wilcox has the story of a doctor going above and beyond. My uh, head kind of dents in right here a little bit, and, and you can feel the pins um, that are in my skull. As a 10-year survivor, ML Dubay is proof positive that a brain tumor diagnosis doesn't have to be a death sentence. You have to have that positive attitude that you will make it and that there is an opportunity for you on the other side. After 15 years as one of only three neuro-oncologists in the Metroplex, Dr. Virginia Stark Vance grew tired of seeing finances stand in the way of the life-saving treatments available to her patients. Chemotherapy is very expensive, radiation is expensive, surgery is expensive. You know, it all is. So that's why we wanted to find some place, some way to meet these direct needs. She's taken pro bono cases and even paid for some patient treatments herself, but she wanted to do more. So four years ago, she started the Legacy Brain Foundation, a group whose sole mission is to raise money, not for research, but to help patients with their financial needs. It's why I work so hard on finding new treatments when we can't even utilize the ones that we have. And the reason we can't utilize the ones that we have is because they're so expensive. Through the sale of fine art at their annual Stars Come Out event, the group awards $1,000 grants to patients in need. There are people that have tens of thousands of dollars needs. I mean, you know, $1,000 is kind of a drop in the bucket. But it may, you know, help, like, like I said, literally keep their lights on or literally pay for something that otherwise, you know, their medication, their seizure medication or their chemo copays or something, something they otherwise would not have been able to do. The other thing it does is provide hope to patients who are fighting for their lives. Yeah, because then they realize that other people understand this is what they're going through and we want to be there for them. In Dallas, Lindsay Wilcox, NBC5.